Good afternoon, UCF Knights. I'm Justin Garfield, and here's a quick look at what's making news on Wednesday, March 2nd, 2016. Some huge news that was announced yesterday. Donald Trump will be here at UCF on Saturday. The Trump rally will be held at the CFB Arena. Doors will be open at 9 a.m., and the event will start at 12. Donald Trump was also the big winner of Super Tuesday on the Republican side. He won seven states, while Ted Cruz won two, and Marco Rubio ended up winning one state. Hillary Clinton beat out Bernie Sanders in the seven states, including Massachusetts, a state Sanders was favored to win in. Sanders did win in Oklahoma, Colorado, Minnesota, and Vermont, his home state. In local news, the Florida Board of Governors met here on the UCF campus today, and Jordan E. Morgan has more on the meeting. Earlier today, the Florida Board of Governors met in the Fairwinds Alumni Center on campus. They discussed how UCF will get $20 million in state funding to pay for the academic building downtown. The motion was passed with a 14-2 vote approving of the funding. President John C. Hitt says the university is ready for the next step in the process. Funding is all that's holding us back, you know, presuming that the governor signs uh, the bill. I think we'll have uh, a, a quick uh, turnaround on getting the uh, additional funding. I'm not worried about that really at all. We will give you more information on UCF Downtown this Friday in our newscast. Back to you. In sports, it was a tough outing for the UCF baseball team last night as they lost to number one Florida by a score of 9-5. to five. After the Gators jumped out to an early lead, the Knights were able to get enough offense going to tie the game at three in the second inning. However, it wasn't enough. The Gators registered 14 hits to seal the game over the Knights. UCF travels to Gainesville for the second game of the series tonight at 7 p.m. And here's a quick look at our weather forecast for today. Today there's a high of 82 and a low of 56 with a 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow looks to be a gorgeous day outside with a high of 82 and a low of 62. That's all the time we have for now. Be sure to check out our newscast on Friday at 1.30 on Bright House Channel 734. And check back here tomorrow for another nightly news update. I'm Justin Garfield. Thanks for watching and have a great day.